This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? So Blueface's mom, Miss Carlissa, was on Instagram Live with her son Dre, and she was really, really hurt and crying about what Blueface said about her in the Rap TV interview. And just in case you missed it, Blueface said, I don't have a mom. F that lady. She's weird. She's strange. I don't know what her motive is, her angle. That's what he had to say about his mom. All right, so listen to what Miss Carlissa and Dre had to say. A whole totally different world. There's, there's, she did an excellent job with him. She probably did the best job with him as a mother. So he has no, absolutely no room to complain, bro. Like all that shit is capped for the internet. I swear to God, on my soul. Like got picked up and dropped off to school like baby, my nigga. Like literally fucking baby. In high school, picked up and dropped off to school. Burritos cooked for him. He was the quarterback, bro. Then after that, he went to college. To me, there's more nothing more decorated the mother can do than to get her son through four years of high school, then get him to college, and then the nigga drop out on his own. Like that that's I'm not speaking on who's great and who's not, but as far as from what I've seen from his life, he had a very great mother, bro. Uh, I, Excellent, top tier quality mother, bro. Don't get me wrong; she might throw a temper tantrum here and there, but everybody who's washing your clothes, cooking you food, and fucking spoiling the fuck out of you as as an eighteen year old man trying to help get you off the college, they get you off the college. You know how many niggas in my hood didn't go to college? None of our neighbors went to fucking college, bro. Like all of our neighbors is dead or in jail. We is the only fucking kids on the block that got two. She put two kids in college, bro. All of our other neighbors is dead or in jail. I swear to God, bro, everybody else who lived on that street with me right now is either dead or in jail, except for David. David, the only one who kind of made something with his life because he went to the Air Force, bro. But it ain't it ain't that. Don't ever let him ever say that at all. They can, she do some antics and some crazy shit, but as far as her mother, bro, she spoiled the fuck out of that nigga. He was her baby. So don't don't never, ever listen to no shit his whining crybaby ass say about nothing, bro. I'm talking about burritos in the morning dro- in high school, bro. Dropped off to school and picked up in high school, my nigga. That nigga be, be whining and complaining and doing all that extra weird shit, bro, because he let his little girl get in his mind, bro. But certain shit has got to be a limit. As a man, you got to keep it real. You say boof is boof, but what you did was boof. Talking bad about your mom, I understand she might do some antics or whatever, but but as far as her motherhood and how she raised you, bro, you had a very, very good life, my nigga. If you look at a lot of your friends that you grew up with from Bush or Crest and, and all the other schools, bro, they didn't get what you get, you know? Y'all done pissed Dre off. He done walked out. (laughs) It's something when your man or your husband betray you, you you get up and you pick up the pieces. But when it's your child that you bent over your whole life backwards for to try to make a difference from one son to another for him to turn around and spit in your face about some money or some pussy. Ooh, baby, you ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen nothing. You a, you a McDonald's commercial, baby. You ain't a fucking schoolyard grip. You a fucking McDonald's. Look this nigga up, bro. Just Google this nigga, bro. This nigga's a McDonald's commercial kid. This nigga's a child actor, bro. Talking about some motherfucking fuck my mama in some schoolyard, bro. It's it's not that at all, bro. He didn't I have don't, I didn't. don't want y'all to be into it. Because that ain't right, though. Bro. I understand we all flawed. And you know we're near perfect. I give you that. But I mean, consider the, how he lived, how he grew up. He was fucking spoiled, my nigga. Like all the way spoiled, spoiled. Like all the way to where he went. He had a great life. He had a, to me. He had a great quality of life, bro. He had a mom who picked him up. He was playing football. He was chilling. Then he went off to college. And then he dropped out. That was your fault, bro. You decided to drop out. Like, nobody told you to drop out because the lunch lady wouldn't give you no pancakes because she didn't know who you was and you felt like you was the star queen. This nigga dropped out because the fucking lunch lady wouldn't give him no pancakes. This nigga forgot his school ID and went up there and like, hey, I don't have my, but I'm on the football team and the school lunch lady wasn't fucking with him and he tried to quit thinking it was going to piss her off. Like, you know what? I'm just going to drop out. Then he tried to check back into school and it was like, no, nah, bro, it don't work like that. And he had to live with that decision. And he blamed somebody else for that. You decided to drop out, bro. Everything that where your life went, that was you. But if, to where she guided your life was to college, bro. A division one school. You was living on the fucking campus, bro. You was living in a camp, college campus. 
Like, no, miss me with all that hard life shit, bro. You had a very spoiled, bullshit life, bro. You probably never really had to go through no forced gangster shit. None of that shit, bro. You didn't live in L.A. like that. You went to college, bro. You had a very, very nice life. And that's probably the only spoiled kid who probably could have that attitude that you have, bro. Because compared to everybody else, you had a real, really, really great life, bro. Don't address your son on live. Ma'am, we are past that point. My son just got on fucking TV and told somebody weird. that I'm weird and fuck me. And, and I don't exist. That's, that's some ungrateful shit. That's how you treat people, bro. He'll do the same thing to his bitch. He'll do the same thing to everybody else in his life, bro. As soon as you don't treat him the way you want to be treated or as soon as he don't get his way, it's fuck you. No matter what you do for him, no matter how far you go for the nigga, as soon as you tell him no, it's fuck you. And he say this shit. If you don't do what I want, I'm going to kick you out my life. Like, what imagine the niggas would kick you out your life, bro? How spoiled and big. How many times his sister been there for? How many times his brother been there for? How many times his mama? And you the baby, bro. How many different shields life got to go through before it get to you? Come on, bro. The nigga's spoiled, bro. He's spoiled. He's spoiled. He's He said he light skinned. That's what's wrong with him. He is. He Y'all the same color, Andre. No, he not. His daddy is white. My daddy is black. Yeah, but no, they brothers. They ain't gonna beef. We ain't going Brothers don't do that. Like, what he say? You can't. The truth is not a. What do we mean before? It's the truth. Everything I'm saying is true. Don't get wrong, you got your bones or whatever, I'll give you that, bro, but come on now. You, you never really had to be chased home from school like that, bro. Repeatedly, almost three, four, five times a week. Come on, bro, you didn't do that. You was getting burritos, dropped off, like, no, you never duck gunshots on your way to school, my nigga. You never had one of these pulling no guns out of your face on the way to school, my nigga. No, you, you can't say that because your mother had provided you with a very excellent quality of life, my nigga. After she learned and seen it, like you was, you know what I'm saying? You was the third, you the baby. So at this point, she should be fishing as a mother. She should be like, okay, I got this shit. Which she did. Did she not? And, and Jonathan's quality of life compared to everybody else's, bro, was in it. I don't know. It just baffles me how he could ever turn. Period. I understand you might get into it, but ain't nothing ever been that deep to me for 18 years to college, bro. She gave you an excellent head start in life. You know how many parents don't give their kids an excellent head start in life? Look, you. I don't know, it's crazy. Why your mother weird? It just makes you look weird, bro. No matter what your parent does, bashing your mom, just makes you look boof, bro. Um. Imagine if when you was a baby, you shit, she just kicked you. Like, oh, you're weird. I'm not fucking with you. You know how many times you fucked up and a motherfucker forgave you? You know what I'm saying? That money that just went to his head, bro. Which is cool, bro. You know, we all come from the bottom. I want you to stay up there. I don't want you to go back down to where we was. I don't want nobody to go back to where we were. But come on, now, keep it real, bro. Call a spade a spade, bro. Your mama the only nigga in the world that'll do some crazy shit for you. Not all them other niggas, bro, that I know, because my mama did some crazy shit for me, bro. So for you to say, that's your one ace in the hole, bro. How you turn on your mama? Like, I understand she do some shit a woman, bro, but she's still your mama. And a few weeks back, she shared what the stress of her relationships with her children have been doing to her hair. This is what she was saying back then. I don't let these kids stress you out. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Until they, until one of them get enough money to give me that the hair surgery, I work this. And now this interview has come out, so I'm sure that she's even more stressed now. Wow, things are really getting crazy. And you heard what Miss Carlissa and Dre had to say. Now let me know your thoughts. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.